Hey everybody, Tracking Pat here, and today I'm out in the shop working with my TMC-10, and I want to talk to you a little bit about the benefits of having electronic hand wheels. Electronic hand wheels, of course, are an option on the TMCs, but when you have that option, you will see that I have both my X and Y handles, as well as my Z-axis hand wheel. And what's really nice about these is they're on a slide way, so I can bring them in when I want to use them, push them out of the way when I don't want to, so I can get in and out of the machine. Some of the benefits that you have with this are the fact that if I'm in the DRO mode and I come in here to positions, I can just set a number in here like say X two inches. And what will happen is when I dial the machine and I get the two inches, you'll see that it just disconnected even though I'm still turning the hand wheel. So I can go this way forever, but each time I get to that number, it'll stop. That way I don't have to make a program or babysit the DRO. I can just move it back and forth and take a bunch of cuts and rough something out and never cross the border that I punch in. I have that for all three axes. Also, if I get out of there, I've got a Z-axis hand wheel that I can use to drill some holes or touch my tool lengths off or things like that. So this is always available for me as well and when not needed, I just push it out of the way. Another feature that I think that's probably the biggest thing is the way that you actually use tracking which is part of the electronic hand wheels, right? So if I move over here to run mode, I'm gonna start in the middle of my program. So I'm gonna start on event number three, and I'm gonna let it calculate that program. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm gonna show this in production mode, so I'm gonna to have to have the doors closed. But keep in mind that if I'm in, in tool room ops, I can actually run it with the machine, the doors open, and still use tracking either with production or non-production, right? So in this case, I'm gonna close the doors, and you're gonna see that if I push tracking on the cover here, when I start to dial, the first thing it's gonna do is it's gonna go up and do a tool change because it knows that part of the program has to be done with the drill bit. So it's gonna put my drill bit in here, and you'll see as I turn the handle, it's gonna come down here and start making the part. So what I really love about tracking is I can bring it down close to my piece part look over here and make sure that what I'm seeing here is what I'm seeing there so I know I've got my zero set right, my tool set right. And then once it comes to tracking itself, as I turn the hand wheel, it's just gonna follow the CNC program. If I don't like something that's going on, I can actually go backwards and come right back out of there and start over or go back and check it out. While I'm in tracking, I've got both coarse and fine feed. So this is the coarse feed, which is the x-axis hand wheel, and this is the fine feed, which is the y-axis hand wheel. This one's four times slower than the coarse one. So if I walk it real quickly through here, I do want to point out one very important thing. When you're in tracking, you are the feed rate, which means if you program it to machine at four inches a minute, and you turn this at 30 inches a minute, it's still going to go 30 inches a minute. So keep in mind that if you do that, when you program a certain feed rate, it's still gonna run at the feed rate you turn the hand wheels. That's why I would suggest you use the fine feed to walk it through the program, right? So what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna go back up to the top and it's gonna change back into my end mill. So what I like about tracking also is the fact that with every tool on an individual job, I can go to tracking in and out, right? So like in this case, I'm still in the tracking mode. I can bring this tool in, I can check to make sure my height is good. I can walk it through the whole program, have it come in, start do the machining, right? And if I have any questions whatsoever, I can stop, get in, get out, whatever, okay? There's also a feature in here, if I push stop, that allows me to use chip clear. And in chip clear, I can come in here and I can jog this thing out of the way. I can move it all around, clear out some chips, things like that. And when I'm done, I can go back to resume and go right back into tracking, and it'll know exactly where it was when it left over to start machining again. So those are just some of the simple benefits of how electronic hand wheels work within the TMC and also with a lot of our other products. I hope this has been beneficial to you. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, keep on tracking.